This is a webtastic review for Spider-Man fans, especially for yours truly. I actually went to Rhode Island Comic Con, which was actually easy to get tickets to. The celebrity guest list was actually mind-blowing and totally made up for the disappointment I had with New York Comic Con, which really fucking sucked this year. It was quite depressing for me. And I also spotted this webtastic Spider-Man No Way Home drawing at the event. I got a chance to meet the cast of Cobra Kai and also got to meet the legendary Ray Porter, who voices Darkseid for Zack Snyder's Justice League movie. Best of all, I got to see my buddy Christy Hemi, who revealed who her favorite Spider-Man actor is. And the funny thing is that she actually knows that I worked as an actor on the set of Spider-Man films. So her response at first was hilarious when I asked her the question of who her favorite Spider-Man actor is. And we all know that Andrew Garfield has been telling people that he's not the werewolf. But if he is indeed the werewolf, this shirt's definitely going to be selling out like crazy. And yet, as of recent, there's been a change of tone from him as to whether or not he is in this movie. See for yourself. <laughs> I hope you're in uh, the new Spider-Man movie. We'll see, man. I hope you make a cameo, dude. Tom Holland has teased that there are three generations of Spider-Man coming to the screen. Okay? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, he's teased that there's going to be three generations of Spider-Man that are coming to the screen. Now, just blink once like if we're gonna that? see you yeah like, I mean, like blink, look me yeah look me in the thing. eye and blink once if we're going to see you in spider-man no way home or just shake your head if not I'm just not gonna blink i'm a, not gonna do anything like, i'm, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna look I'm down gonna, gonna do this now for a while. <laughs> no but i will say this I, listen i will say this like i really i really love what that whole team have done with the character like i really love what what john watts has done what tom has done what Amy Pascal and, and Kevin Feige have done with this incarnation of the character and there's they've injected it they've given it so much soul and so much fun and and joy and it's so true to the character and I'm just well I, I'll tell you this I'm very excited to see what they've done okay. with their okay. third installment okay. I blinked a little bit but it was out totally accidental <laughs> no, no, no. I know it didn't I, count. I take no ownership it didn't over count. It. but I'm so excited to see what they've done because I I'm just a fan of, of their of their interpretation and their incarnation. It just feels so soulful to me. And I think Amy's just done something so Absolutely. beautiful. We also finally have Spider-Man coming to Marvel's Avengers game. And I haven't played that game like in a while. Uh, and on November 30th, I'm definitely gonna start playing again. And I know people are still complaining about the Spider logo, but look, that's what alternative costumes are for. So just chillax there. There's a lot of hate for that costume. And uh, look, that's one of the main reasons as to why I bought the game to begin with, is because it was advertised uh, that he was going to be, you know, part of the game. And man, we had to wait so long for this character to show up, and <laughs> now he's going to be playable. So, you know, I'm really happy that it's finally happening, and you know, right on time prior to Spider-Man No Way Home uh, releasing in December. And I told you all that Spider-Man No Way Home trailer was finally really close to coming, compared to Mr. Not anytime soon. And I warned you all, he didn't know fucking shit. Until the very last minute. Because he was so desperate once again to steal somebody's scoops. To make sure. And this is why his responses were always not anytime soon. Because he didn't fucking know. And I guess he didn't get the memo that there's a really huge fucking difference between not anytime soon and it's happening now. Here's the real truth, asshole. Every fucking insider knew that the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer was coming at the same week of Ghostbusters Afterlife. You fucking moron. And not at the last fucking minute. So enjoy that cock-sucking glory hole, you rat fuck, because I beat you to it by a landslide. And I made sure it was fucking public to prove that you're a fucking fraud. And I found a very clever way of revealing it just like I did back in the day, so you wouldn't fucking steal it again from me. Coming real soon, just fucking owned not coming anytime soon, using the oldest trick in the book. And you know what? It fucking worked. And the one question that's always coming up 
is if Spider-Man No Way Home will have the same emotional impact, dialogue, storytelling, character development as Cobra Kai, since I'm always comparing them to. I'm also going to reveal the answer to that question as to what's going on for the online release of the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer for the event that's happening on Tuesday. And trust me, I can't wait to see everyone's reaction. You guys are not fucking ready for this. And as I've stated before, that blowing up the internet, that's what the teaser trailer did. And that the first official trailer is going to have every Spider-Man fan in attendance in that event to blow their fucking loads. So feel lucky that you won't be part of the Spider-Man Bukaki event. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be fucking crazy. So, if you want to know more, join a fan sport. Thanks, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. Woohoo!